Before the video starts, I'd like to say that this video was brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to keep doing what I love to do. So a big shout out to everyone who supports me there. And remember, even with a single dollar, you can get great prizes. And without further ado, let's go to the video. Guys, what's up? It's Ivy and... Yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't been uploading videos related to gaming. Yeah, I've been drawing lately and I am sorry for that, but I'm still waiting for YouTube to like remove the copyright strike on my art channel, so yeah, I'm using my gaming channel to actually draw live. So I hope you guys bear with me, but hey, today I have something I've never done before, which is my top 5 uh, musics from Undertale. And this is not a general, this is um, just a uh, top 5 um, favorite boss battle musics and... I'm not going furthermore because there aren't many boss battles in the game, especially when you play as a pacifist. Pacifist? <laughs> pacifist? So, not even in genocide there are many musics. But I will include some musics of genocides even though I didn't do it, but hey, I like them. Okay, so, first of all, on my top 5, it's Bond's Trouble, because who can hate the great papyrus? <laughs> yeah, I mean, papyrus is like that dude that you think, if you did genocide, you're a dirty brother killer. I, I simply can't hate papyrus, I simply can't poke even with a stick against papyrus because papyrus papyrus is full of determination even though he doesn't realize it because he wants to be in the royal guard and it's adorable that he tries his best and Undyne is right, you're too good to shoot you're gonna get yourself killed in battle because if you go to battle, you're like, let's be friends. Come on here, human. I have nothing against you. The great papyrus gives the pet hugs, and I believe he does. So, number four, Death by Glamour. I'll be honest with you, I didn't like the battle against uh, Metaton. I really didn't, I really didn't, I thought Metaton was a show-off, annoying, but I grew up liking him, simply because of this animation, which is really, really cool, and gives me a lot of inspiration to do more animations myself, and heck, okay, show, uh, camera lights action, so let's start the show and see who's the best in the stage which is Metaton he is great I'm sorry he is great at the end because the Undertale the musical made a really really good song of, the, of him I mean and I learned to like Death by Glamour and I love, start, starting to love Metaton, so, yeah, you are our star, you are the star of the underground. Next, number three, okay, okay, I'll be honest with you, this creep me the f*** out, I'm sorry. Your best nightmare is 
a music that scared the heck out of me. I saw this before I bought all this. I saw this on YouTube because I didn't know what to do. So heck, let's go to see tutorial in what to do. And when I saw it, I was a little freaked out. And when I play in my live stream on Twitch, I have a highlight of that, I believe. I got scared. And a friend of mine was pissing me off one day and was like, oh yes, uh, I won't tell you what's gonna happen when you fight Flowey. And when she did, she came to me and she was like, oh Flowey's so scary, Flowey's so scary. And I'm like, oh, you reached that part? Nice. That's revenge. For what? Annoying me. Is that your revenge? Yes. I told you about Netaton. But I wasn't gonna tell you what's gonna happen with Asgore and the battle after. Yeah. So yeah, I like this song, especially when you collect all the souls. When the souls start to help you, that's when the song starts really to pumping up. And you feel like determination and you can go against the world. Okay, who can't disagree with this? Who can disagree with this? If you disagree with this, uh, I mean. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like this, kids like you should be burning in hell. I'm sorry, those lines are just freaking epic. I'm sorry, those lines are freaking epic. I didn't do genocide. I don't want to do genocide. I don't want to kill Papyrus on purpose. Just listen to this song. But I must admit, Sans is the best character in game and it has the best battle song like ever. I don't remember any game I played that I felt like I will defeat you even though I ne never played genocide I won't play genocide I can't kill papyrus I can't kill Toriel I can't kill my Titan. I can't kill anyone I can't I'm sorry I'm I can't I simply can't I grew to appreciate the characters and if you don't grow up appreciating the characters well that's up to you but before I go to the first place, here's some honorable mentions. Did you guys expect this one? I'm sorry, I... <laughs> the reason why I played like... How many times Undertale? Six maybe? And I did a true reset? Was because of this. Hopes and Dreams is... 
practically my favorite song in Undertale. I don't know why, but okay, this is the final battle. If I defeat you, I end the game. And I'm gonna be very sad when Azriel actually try to erase your memories and your friend memories and your save file I felt a little bit broken I don't know why Toby Fox did a great job but I felt so broken like how can you do this? how can you do this so I can play with you over and over and over I would play anyway even though you would become a flower again I I can't let you do this. I'm sorry, that was my feeling. I'm repeating myself, but I really get into things when I play games or when I watch movies, but I really get into the mood. I really get into Why are you doing this, Azriel? I must save you. Regardless, I must save you. And I will save you, and I will hug you, and I will cry with you like this. Okay, sorry. So, this was my top 5 music from Undertale. I mean, the whole game is great. Props up to Toby Fox. I mean, I don't need to say this. And I know many people already did this, but I just need to give my opinion about it. So, with that said guys, I will be making more of these, so I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys give me a suggestion about my next let's play, I mean I have an idea in what to play next, but heck, I would like to hear more opinions about the games I should play uh, that are a little bit like Undertale, I'm not gonna say, hey, you need to play Earthbound, because that will happen. You need to play Mother, I think that's before Earthbound. So, yeah, those will happen once I get my Abuchende 2 back to normal and I can actually draw back there again. So with that said, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share the channel and share the video. And without further ado, thanks a lot for watching once again, and until next time, take care.